we have breaking news this transfer deadline day as H&W Welders have announced two loan signings as manager Ozzy Villain looks to strengthen the squad ahead of the unexpected European campaign. Now for more on this story we cross live to local reporter Eamon Murphy and Eamon, what can you tell us? Thanks, thanks. Your manager, Ozzy Villain, has made two loan signings with striker uh, Oscar Thorne coming in on loan from Colchester, as well as midfielder uh, Aaron McLaughlin coming in on loan from Carrick Rangers, uh, both until the end of the season. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to Season 7, Episode 3 here at H&W Welders on the Impossible Dream as we look to win a European trophy with the Northern Irish Club. And today, while well, we have a chance to take a step towards that, we go to Olympiakos in the first game of the group stage. That's right, the group stage of the UEFA Europa Conference League. Uh, and uh, then, well, before that, we're going to play Glenavon in the league. And we are struggling in the league this season, which is why I went and made a couple of deadline day loan signings um, to try and, well, we just need to strengthen out the squad a little bit now that we know we're going to be basically in Europe, or at least till Christmas. And in Northern Irish football, that is uh, most of the season is done by that point. So first up, it is Oscar Thorne. Um, we actually had this guy in on trial at one point. Uh, so we signed him on loan from Col uh, Colchester. He's a, just a little bit better of an all-round uh, striker. He's uh, he's well liked by um, by the scouts, and uh, well, he's already he's already played a game for us in a cup game and scored two goals. So we'll get to that in just a second. So I think he'll do quite well for us. Again, we just need that little bit of extra squad depth, and we were a little bit thin in midfield as well. So we went and got Aaron McLaughlin. Now this was somebody that I transferred, uh, not transfer listed, shortlisted, I should say. He's a very very useful midfielder. He's just got all the all the key midfield stats, passing technique, vision, work rate, first touch, decisions is good. Physically, he's not, he's, you know, there's no real weakness there either. So this is somebody that I think, now he was, as I said, he was transfer listed. I think he's contract up the end of this season. If he does well for us, I think we will try and sign him at the end of his deal. But we'll wait, this way we get to sort of try before you buy kind of thing. Um... So yeah, they're the two signings that we've brought in, just as a little bit of extra squad depth. Uh, so let me know what you think of those guys. Hopefully they'll do really, really well for us, and we will see them both today as well, so we'll get a first-hand view of them. Uh, but there are a few games to catch you up on before we get to that. The first one, just a, day, a day's rest after the European heroics against Utrecht. Uh, we went and we played Lahn. Uh, tough assignment. Let's see how it went. We fell to a goal midway through the second half. So we were never in this game. Um, I mean, shots will tell you that. It was not the opponent we wanted, you know, just a couple of days after after Europe. Um, yeah, and we, we didn't play well either, which is maybe the most disappointing thing at all. You can see I played around with the formation a little bit, just trying to, to get the fittest players we had on the field. And, well, it didn't work, basically, and we were thoroughly, thoroughly spanked. Uh, next up, we went and played in the League Cup. Uh, it was against Glebe Rangers, I think it is. They're a third tier side. Let's see how it went. We went behind early. But were level at half time after debutants Fitzpatrick and Thorne combined. Before Thorne secured the tie in the second half. Well, the best thing I can say about this is that at least we won. Um, XG would tell you that we, you know, we did, uh, we did deserve it. We played a lot of new and young players in this one. Um, Fitzpatrick is the winger that we signed. He looked, he looked quite good actually. So that was a positive. Uh, we've already seen Thorne getting two goals on the boo, which was nice. Uh, Baxter got a game. Baxter is one of the young, high potential guys. Uh, he looked okay without being spectacular. So that was good to see. And the other young guy that got a game is our young fullback. Now, he's right-footed. We played him on the left where he can play. Again, a high-potential guy. Mentally, this guy looks quite good. But we need to give him some game time so he develops. And again, he looked okay. Um, but, you know, it wasn't a, wasn't a, a fantastic performance overall against the third-tier side. Uh, last game to catch you up on was in the Antrim Cup. Uh, Antrim, it's a shield, isn't it? The County Antrim Shield. And in that one, we were playing Knock a second-tier side. We took the lead early in the second half with Fitzpatrick's first goal for the Welders. And we're two up when Curry crossed for Sheedy. Before Sheedy turned provider for Fitzpatrick to get his second. 
but the nine men of Knockbreeder pulled one back. So I tell a lie, they're a third tier side as well, and they were down to nine men. Yeah, I mean, we were the, again, we were the better team. McLaughlin, the midfielder, made his debut in this one. Uh, another debut was Curry. Uh, he's a youngster that came through our academy. Um, he's been playing in center midfield in the uh, reserves, because we typically don't play with wingers. Um, but he is a winger, and yeah, I mean, he looked quite good, which is positive. Uh, you know, Fitzpatrick had another good game, and uh, Baxter did okay again. We had gave Boyle on his return from injury a game at left back. Um, I mean, it wasn't terrible, but against nine men at third tier slide, we really probably should have piled on the goals there. Uh, but that's everything caught up on. A quick look at where everything stands. Um, league table, let's not look at that early in the season. Early in the season, let's not... <laughs> It's not, it's, we're in trouble. We're in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, we've got our next cup games, Banbridge Town in the League Cup. Now, they are, are they second tier? They are second tier, and they're top of the second tier as well. And they have some good young players, so that could be an interesting tie for us. And it's Carrick Rangers. We're at home against them in the County Antrim Shield. Again, we're not taking these too seriously, um, because there's, only, there's not really any, well, there's only really money in it. And if we look at the finances, because let's have another look at this, we don't need money anymore. We are very well served for that, so we can completely forget that. You know, the, the, the 50, 60 grand that we would get for even winning it means nothing to us now. We're, we're, it's, it's nice to say, isn't it? Um, but let's go and have a look and see what we're doing here against Glenavon. We need to get a win here. We need to start turning our season around. Uh, we're expecting a 4-3-3 from them. And this is the team that we're sending out. It is Taylor in goal. It's Coyle. Now, we've been giving him some games. He's not done brilliantly, to be honest, but... Um, he's a good young player. It's Jay Williams and Sobawali. <laughs> How do you say that? Timmy at uh, <laughs> Timmy at um, at the right side of left back. It's Simpson and Boyle down the wings. Cundell and Willis in midfield. Ebioe in behind Thorn and Melvin Lambert. This is a pretty strong team for second string. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. Now this uh, Zuvaloon is quite good and tends to score against us, but otherwise, I don't recognise too many uh, PS. No, is it uh, anyway? Too many names that are. Uh, annoying to us um i think i'm, I'm gonna try this i've been trying some sort of different team talks what we need to figure out is why we are so much better in europe than in the league um because it, it, it is it is at some point going to become a major problem for us it, it looks as though i mean a title race was probably never really on the cards this season particularly being a semi-professional club and now in europe as well um but we do need to make sure that at a minimum we are getting third in the league to make sure we get back into Europe next season. Kundel's picked up an injury. That's not really what we wanted. Um, a Bru uh, Bruce Thigh, you're fine, mate. Keep going. Um, yeah, so we just need to be a little bit careful on that. Ebioe, ball in. Decent. Headed away, though. It's picked up by Willis. Can he get a second ball? And if you're wondering why Ebioe is playing in this team, that's a nice composed header back to the goalkeeper. He's not been playing well. He's really, really struggled so far this season. And Mr. X-Ray Vision is... Well, he's excelling. So, oh, Coyle, you are absolute Muppet. Timmy's there. And can we get ourselves going forward here? Now, this is, of course, a home game. So you'd like to think we can uh, get a, a, a job done here. Um, Ebioe, can he pick a pass forward? Thorn is there, but he's very, very well marked right now. Ebioe gets it wide for Simpson. All right, this is where we could get a cross in. There it is, Lambert and Lambert's header. Just past the post. That probably should have found the back of the net. We've got a corner. Ebioe to take. Decent. Again, it's headed away. Kundel will pick it up. Let's see what he can do. Crossfield pass. A wonderful ball for Ebioe. Ebioe has a go. Oh, Malcolm Ebioe with a second of the season. Absolutely rocketed that in the back of the net. And that is a 1-0 lead. 25 minutes gone in the first half. We needed that. Now, we're expecting them to be sort of a Catanacho style. That's what the scouts are expecting. Um, oh, I tell you what, he's hit all of that, hasn't he? So, I mean, getting the getting the first goal could be key. Um, it will mean now that they, well, they'll either have to come out or they'll lose the game. So that's going to hopefully benefit us. Um, there's, oh, nice run by Thorne. Just couldn't quite pick him up. Willis will uh, pick it up, though. Back for Timmy. And let's see what we can do from here. Ball forward, Thorne. Nice knockdown for Simpson. Can he get a cross in? Thorne, Ebioe, Malcolm's there. And not Melvin. Melvin is there. He gets a third of the season. And a quick fire one, two. And that is, uh, well, that is hopefully game done. 
It's not, of course, because it's only 2-0 and there's still uh, a, half and a, a, a half and a half to go. Nice leap from uh, from Malcolm. Malcolm Melvin it's clearly says it there, Aussie villain. Come on, man. Um, yeah, and we start to climb up the table here as well. So this is this is good. This is what we need. We need this second string team to be able to win these games and win them comfortably, ideally, in uh, in the league. And I, I'm hoping anyway, I'm hoping that the signings that we've made will just give us that little bit of extra depth to enable us to do that. Um, all right, we'll point our finger. We will say... Room for improvement. Room for improvement. We've got a couple of guys here that aren't playing particularly well. Mostly the defense, somewhat worryingly. So we'll tell them we expect a little bit more. Uh, otherwise, we'll fist pump and say they have we have faith in them. And then we can get back out there and hopefully get a couple more goals. Start repairing some of this goal difference as well. Uh, is there anybody on the bench? We might give McLaughlin another game. Let him settle into the team. Um, Reese Byrne somewhat now becomes this sort of a permanent sub, which is maybe a bit of a shame, actually, but it is what it is. Abby always tied, so let's get McLaughlin on. Um, yeah. this It looks as though this second half is just going to tick by, doesn't it? And to be honest, that's fine. We've got the job done. We're not going to bring guys off the bench for the sake of it, although we probably should. I probably should have brought uh, Gallagher on for some game time. What an idiot I am. But anyway, second half ticks by. It is 2-0. It's a solid three points. Abioi and uh, Melvin. I almost said Malcolm again. Melvin Lambert with the goals. Well done, boys. And on we go. So a lot to like about that performance. It just kicked us up the table a little bit. Only four points off of third. Uh, the worryingly, Glen Torin is in second. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's off. Cole Rain is bottom of the league. Well, that puts that uh, opening day victory into a little bit of perspective, doesn't it? Kundel's brew, uh, bruise is out for about a week. He wouldn't have played in Greece anyway. But guys, wait right there because the rest of us are off to Greece. And let's see if we can get a little bit of revenge on Olympiakos for knocking us out of the qualifiers last season. Okay, welcome back. We are getting ready to begin our European campaign. Away to Olympiakos. They were the top seeds in the group. And, uh, well, if we're gonna, we might as well get it out of the way first of all. Uh, this is what we are doing here. We are up against a 4-2-3-1 formation. And this is the team that we're sending out. It is Taylor in goal. Edgar Hall and Okocha is the back uh, three. Hall down the right. Boyle is going to play down the left. Now, the reason he is playing is because you may or may not remember that... Uh, where are you here, mate? McCulloch is suspended. Uh, too many bookings in the qualifiers, so he has to sit this one out. So a big opportunity for Boyle to uh, re-establish himself as the left wing back. It's uh, McQuaid and Tipton in midfield. X-ray vision himself, Mr. Simpson, in behind Cargbo and Lucas. We have a strong bench. We have Thorne, Ebioi, Willis, own goal Gallagher, Hill and Moran, plus the backup goalkeeper, uh, who is, what a waste of money he was. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the team. May it go down in history with a victory. Okay, so we can see the lineups here. Ryan Cassidy is a decent striker. He starts at Watford, I think, doesn't he? Um, yeah, I don't recognize too many names there, but I'm not by any means an expert on, well, any football, but particularly Greek football. Um, show me what you can do to keep the run going. We're huge underdogs here. No pressure. Show them what you've got. I think we probably need to do something like that. Now, ideally, we don't want a nervous goalkeeper, but that's what we have. Perfect. Um, yeah, well, let's just give them hell. And here we go. UEFA Europa Conference League group stage football. It is a tough first assignment. They've come out a little bit different to how we were expecting. Um, but we'll just kind of see what we can do. Now, I mean, pretty much everybody in the comments said yesterday, or after last episode, I should say, that no one really expects us to get out of the group. And I do think at this point, it's just a case of just trying to get as many points, which obviously will bring money in as well, um, just trying to build up coefficient points in the bank balance. I don't really have any expectations of poor pass from McQuaid of trying to get out of the group either. I'd like to, obviously, but, you know, we've got a relatively good Scottish team, a, a good Greek side, and I'm imagining a, 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 a decent a Ukrainian side as well. All of those should be able to beat a Northern Irish semi-professional team. So we've done very well to get this far. Now, as I said, it's just a matter of just getting as many points as we can. Tipton's got a booking which isn't ideal. Oh, Tipton, you idiot. You absolute moron. Well, that makes it difficult, doesn't it? Um, 
Now, Lucas is looking ill-disciplined on a booking, so I think we might need to save him. We'll make that change there. Willis comes on. Cargbo, I think, now needs to switch to support. Um, we just need to... Yeah, completely change what we're doing here. And it now becomes a, a sort of a mission of... Of just trying to, to hold on for a point as best we can, doesn't it? Ah, oh, Tipton! Alright, can we defend a free kick? That's the big question here. They haven't really just... They haven't lumped it into the box, so that maybe helps us. Um, oh, there's a loose pass. Willis, no, can't quite get to it. I am slightly tempted to... Stick the wing backs back. Actually, let's, not, let's be positive. I hate not being at least looking to score goals. There we go. Um... Actually, the other thing we need to do now is play for set pieces, isn't it? If we if we can take anything from this, it would be a monumental achievement. And of course, we're going to be missing Tipton for the next game now as well. We've got a corner to defend here. Oh. And in first half stoppage time, you just half expected that in the back of the net, didn't you? Well, we're halfway there. And uh, credit to us, we haven't given up too much. Um... Alright, let's point our finger. I, we're a man down. We can get a result here. We'll fist pump and say we have faith in them. And, yeah, it's just really disappointing, isn't it? Tipton, what have you done? Boyle and McQuaid are also on a booking. Um, one thing we don't have on the bench is an abundance of central midfielders, though. So that's a problem. Uh, we could move Moran over to left back, but he's more of a defensive. Boyle's done brilliantly there. Uh, still the danger's there. It's blocked away, cleared away by Hall, and that ends the highlight. We'll just keep encouraging them. Um, yeah, you just get the feeling that this is going to come... Oh, uh, there it is. Unmarked at the back post. Um... I wonder if it needs to calm down now. We looked okay, didn't we? First half, we really did look as though we had them relatively under control. But second half, they... Uh, yeah, it's just been a lot of set pieces, hasn't it? Um, if we can keep it to 1-0, then late on we can go all out and try and get ourselves a point. Let's give them some more encouragement. If we can get to sort of 80-ish minutes... We'll, uh, we'll have a go at it. All right, let's go and have a go at this. Okay, so we've made two subs. We have taken off Sean Simpson and Will Hall. We've brought on Thorne and Ebioe. Simpson just wasn't having a good game, which is why we've taken him off. And we are, we're going to have a go at it. We may well concede another goal, but it doesn't really matter to us. We're going to be just direct, get it up there, cross it into the box, play for set pieces, do all that kind of stuff, put pressure on them. And we've got two big boys up top, and hopefully... Well, hopefully one of them will get on the end of something here for us. Actually, we want to go attacking as well. And we're going to have got about 8 minutes plus stoppage time. So maybe 10 all up. And hopefully, we're going to give them hell here. Can we find ourselves something? We've got a highlight. McQuaid to Edgar. Abiyoi to McQuaid. Back to Edgar. Gets it forward. Looking for Thorn. Can't quite find him. And it comes back the other way. Ball in behind our defense. Edgar's been caught out a little bit there. And, well, Taylor's made the save. And in stoppage time, we have conceded a second. Which is a shame. I mean, maybe you could say now that it's silly because if we were to beat them at home, we could have uh, we could have looked to get a uh, head-to-head -head over them. But, yeah. Oh, well. Let's try demand more. Can we get ourselves a goal back? It doesn't look like we can. I mean, that game was ruined by Tipton getting himself sent off after 20 minutes. Two bookings in... Th and we, yeah, there was not much we could do after that. That was uh, disappointing, obviously. So, a little bit of uh, hope in the other game ending in a draw. So, that obviously helps us. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Should we just have, have played it out for the 1-0? You've got to go for it, though, don't you? Surely. Um... 
but there we go, tipped a new Muppet, what an idiot. But guys, that will do it for today, quick look at how everything stands, L nice win in the league, that, uh, that helps things out a little bit there, and um, well... The less said about that tip, then the better. Uh, but that'll do us there for today. We'll be back next time for Carrick Rangers at home in the league. And then it will be, we'll be hosting, sorry, Zoya, uh, the Ukrainian side. And our first home game in the, in the group stage. And if we can get something from that, then you just never know your luck, do you? Take care.